بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے از دا فرسٹ آن لائن لیکچر آف دا سبجیکٹ بائی ڈائیورسٹی ایٹ کنزرویشن دا ٹوڈے از ٹاپک از اسپیشیز ڈائیورسٹی انوینٹری اینڈ مونیٹرنگ آف بائی ڈائیورسٹی دا ڈسکشن ایجنڈا انکلوڈس انٹروڈکشن اسپیشیز انوینٹری مونیٹرنگ total number of species of microbes and plants, diversity indices based on species uh, and comparison of species diversity of different sites. Now we jump on to the introduction. Uh, systematic is the branch of biology dealing with recognition, that means differentiation, naming, identification or nomenclature, comparison that uh, implies relationships and classification which in, which means assembling and grouping of taxa now from the systematics the, this subject you have already uh, studied it in the previous semesters and uh, the hierarchical categories which you have already studied is starting from the kingdom till species while species is considered to be a basic unit of this hierarchy Now there is no specific definition uh, for the species because it varies from subject to subject. For example, in morphology or ecology, it uh, have it has different definitions. While in biodiversity, species is considered as a basic unit in which biodiversity is measured for all practical purposes. Now, what is species inventory? <coughs> How you can measure? species and inventory is formal survey it is a, it's a kind of survey or sorting means arranging the data serving the data arranging the data cataloging or you uh, submit that uh, collected data somewhere in the library or somewhere in the department uh, quantifying and mapping of the occurrence of genes, individuals, population, habitats, ecosystems and landscape at a particular point of time and in a defined geographical unit that is from millimeter to continents. I mean uh, you can study all these <coughs> points like from genes to landscape from starting from the millimeter to continents because there are certain species which you can for which you only need uh, a small scale like millimeter there are a lot of bacteria or for example uh, viruses which you can measure in the millimeter and there are certain landscape ecosystems which you can even studies in uh, for which you need continents <coughs> however due to the lack of time and funds uh, and inventory is only limited to sample you cannot study the whole population because it needs a lot of time and a lot of resources so for that purpose you need a small quantity which you can later on imply on the whole population a good inventory actually needs background knowledge expertise funds which is the most important thing uh, purpose and intensity of the inter uh, inventory and multiple performers now what means by multiple performers i mean whenever you go for a certain species inventory in a certain area you also need for example a statistician uh, maybe you need a zoologist because you will be concerned with the with the uh, studying the plants but a zoologist will be concerned with the uh, with studying the measurement of uh, animals uh also in certain cases you need certain uh, computer programmers as well so it's not the job of one person i mean you can do an inventory in a group form there are certain problems which you can uh, uh face uh, while doing inventory in certain areas for example A total number of species currently recognized in many groups of microbes and plants are imperfectly known. I mean, you don't know a plant perfectly. For example, you don't know its uh, genetic makeup or you don't know its uh, uh, proper distribution for, uh, in which areas these plants are and you don't know exactly the population of those plants. So, these are some imperfectly knowledge 
pertaining to uh, certain plants while there are many ecosystem which has not been invented or fully explored and that is obvious because if you don't do not know even certain species then how you can know a certain ecosystem because an ecosystem there are a lot of uh, things uh, which are interacting so that is also quite uh, a laborious job to fully understand an ecosystem so that's also another uh, problem which you can face Many groups of microbes and plants have not been invented. I mean, there are certain plants that have even we have not even invented. I mean, we do not even know. I mean, that uh, we we have haven't started the inventory of those plants. And lack of expertise and quality of species inventory. I mean, the quality it really matters because if there is no quality, that means. Uh, uh, the, the the inventory which we have already done there will be certain question marks on all these inventories now body trick is actually the check and balance on a certain ongoing project particularly for example in monitoring biodiversity aims to develop a strategic framework for predicting the behavior of key variants to improve management increase management options and provide an early warming system of change whenever there is certain ongoing process let's take an example of, uh, of uh, species inventory uh, you have already started that so in the middle of a species inventory you can do certain monitoring uh, monitoring you can apply certain monitoring tools uh, in order to you, that you should be uh, very sure that uh, uh, the inventory is going on in the right direction and that actually uh, gives uh, you like for example improved management I mean it, it, it gives you certain uh, good directions I mean how you can uh, uh, adventure or take inventory in a very good direction uh, the total number of species of microbes and plants I mean on the whole earth for example total known species there are about 5 billion species known so far on the earth of which 15% of the actual which is actually the 15% of the actual number uh, so far I mean there are there could be more than 5 million uh, species on this planet earth but uh, we are far behind to investigate uh, the, the, the complete uh, inventory or the complete number of all those uh, species on this planet Earth. For example, in case of viruses, there are 500,000 estimated viruses uh, <coughs> which, which are to be uh, existing on this earth but till till now we only know 5000 which is 1% of the 500,000 and similarly fungi, lichens, algae, bryophytes, teridophytes like in the case of angiosperms like flowering plants there are estimated 800,000 species to be existing uh, right now but we knew only 300,000 I mean like uh, still we have a room or the capacity to investigate further 500,000 of the angiosperms uh, diversity based indices uh, for all the species ecologists have estimated biodiversity by 3 years I mean in the whole planet earth Mostly ecologists, they are concerned with these three indices, species richness, species abundance, species evenness, in order to do the inventory. Species richness, it simply implies the types of the species. I mean, how many species are present in a certain uh, locality. That the species abundance species abundance is actually how many or how it's like the number of a particular species I mean 
what is the population of that particular species in a certain region so this is like the species abundance and then the species species even is it is actually the equitability of species given by uh, relative species abundance that shows that uh, in a certain population for example uh, there are 50% uh, of uh, like uh, 50 roses for example there is a population of 100 plant species of which 50 are uh, red roses while 50 are yellow roses so we can say that there are 100% uh, <coughs> evenness because both are 50-50 so the evenness is also it's uh, a measuring tool it gives us uh, because it's uh, relative to the abundance so it gives us a, a, a good picture of a, uh, of, uh, of a certain population in a certain area that in which uh, percentage that particular species is present and combining both can give us shared diversity index and it is one of the index uh, shared diversity which includes species uh, richness species abundance and even species uh, evenness and combining all these it gives us shared diversity index it gives us a complete picture of a population so you do not need to uh, to specifically uh, depict or give a picture of species richness or abundance or evenness only shared diversity index is enough comparison of species or diversity of different size uh, that is can be shown simply by species area relationship rate of increase of species from meter square to kilometer square of red forest is greater than temperate forest this simply means that red forest has a lot of species than the temperate forest and the most important reason for that could be uh, the temperature <coughs> the humidity which is uh, very moderate for the species in the tropical rain for and also obviously the uh, the water uh, which is uh, which is more or which is optimum for the plant species in the rain forest than in the temperate forest uh, for this uh, whole lecture you can consult the Krishna Morthy KV 2003 textbook on biodiversity and it is being published by the science publishers so you can have this a detailed uh, uh, lecture or the detailed text of this lecture is present in this book thank you